I want you to blow airports up. Dad, will you stop saying that? You've been saying it every 30 seconds since we left. Well, they should blow them up. They're cold and windy. A man's got to walk for miles. They're chocker with wogs. It wasn't chocker with wogs. It was. They're everywhere, all wailing and howling, tripping over their string bags, <laughs> trying to smuggle their piano accordions out of the country. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. No, it's true. Hundreds of them all flying home to Italy because they can't afford to phone home. <laughs> You don't hate them that much. I saw you talking to a whole group of them. I was just trying to get a drink. They were four deep around the bar, just standing there going, jabber, jabber, kiss, kiss. <laughs> and they were the blokes. <laughs> Migrants should be banned from airports. Yeah, yeah, sure, Ted. I'll get a beer. Money on the fridge, walk. <laughs> it's your shout. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I bought at the airport. Oh, that doesn't count. It was warm. And it was in a plastic glass. And I dropped it. <laughs> Bloody drug-sniffing dogs. <laughs> pick on my socks. Oh, Dad, they don't pick on your socks. No, they peed on them. <laughs> There's something strange about your feet, Ted. Dogs follow you everywhere. There's nothing wrong with my feet. The Bullpit family are famous for feet. We've had them for years. <laughs> running the family. Well, you're going to have to do a lot more running now, aren't you, Teddles? Yeah, shut up. I don't want to talk about it. Funniest thing I've ever seen. Ted standing in front of an empty parking space saying, it must be here. I've still got the car keys. <laughs> Someone should blow airports up. Stop saying that, Dad. Are you sure you locked it? Of course I'm sure. I'm not stupid, you know. I distinctly remember putting the crook lock on after I helped your mother with the bags. Bruno helped Mum with the bag. Bloody little crawler. <laughs> they don't work. Of course they work. It's just that a certain well-known dickhead, no names follow the custom sniffing dogs, left the key in it. Oh, Dad, you didn't. Well, it wasn't my fault. Thelma kept shouting, hurry up, the plane leaves in two hours, and I've got to buy a, a koala bear at the duty-free shop so that I know I'm an Australian. <laughs> Bloody stupid woman, she's mad, you know. Well, at least you've still got the crook lock. You obviously get a better class of thief at the airport. It's not every car thief that leaves a note saying, I owe you one Commodore. There. <laughs> Sorry about the no-claim bonus. <laughs> Smart ass. But you were great, Ted, the way you galvanised into action. What did he do? He ran round and round the car park screaming, The Commodore! They've stolen the Commodore! <laughs> and then he fainted. Oh, I didn't faint. All right, I'll tell the truth then. No, 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 no I remember now. I did faint. Oh, I did too faint. late, Ted, too late. What happened? He ran into a tree and knocked himself out. <laughs> Bloody stupid place to put a tree. No wonder I ran into it. Yes, Ted, only a madman would put a tree in a park. Anyway, Dad, as the policeman said, you're bound to get it back because it was probably pinched by someone who couldn't afford a cab so they drove your car home. Yeah, to Perth. <gasps> they wouldn't drive it to Perth, would they? Why not? Well, the Perth's chocker with palms. They're everywhere, all along the coast with their knotted handkerchiefs on their heads and their, and their plastic sandals and socks, all saying how good it is back home in the rain. <laughs> Bloody palms, how much you'd blow palms up? You should be happy. At least Mum's finally fulfilled her dream. What dream? She's left you. <laughs> she has not. It's just that I couldn't go with her, that's all. You mean you wouldn't go with her? Listen, somebody's got to stay behind to put the garbage out every week. <laughs> and who's going to drink all that milk if we're tarry hooting around Europe? Dad, you can cancel the milk and the newspapers. Yeah, but you can't cancel the seagulls pooping on poor old Neville. <laughs> <laughs> There's things to do at home. Well, you know, those, those concrete Aboriginals, they don't wash themselves. You really should have gone, Ted. Europe would have been good for you. Whether you would have been good for Europe's another question. I've already been there. It's a terrible place. Bombs everywhere. They all tried to kill me. <laughs> that was the Second World War. Don't shout at me. I didn't start it. Just went over to have a look. Next thing you know, they decorated me. Yeah, they painted you yellow. <laughs> Watch it, mate. It wasn't our army that came racing back to Rome. And don't tell me they were sprinting to get back early in time for soccer practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. You're a hero and the rest of the world doesn't know what it's doing. Come on, Greek, let's go. Now, listen, it's true, I tell you. Before I was captured, single-handedly, I held off a whole battalion. Yeah, your own battalion, after they'd tasted your wrist <laughs> Very funny, Miss Smarty Wombat Bum. <laughs> I tell you, I held off half the German army. Yeah, you just waved your socks above the trenches. <laughs> the Germans sent an official complaint about gas warfare. Before I was captured, it took 300 crowds to get me. Yeah, yeah, sure, Ted. Come on, Greg, let's go. Well, where are you going? Home. Well, but what about me? You can't come. Oh, no, hang on, hang on, don't go. Well, stay and have some supper. 
Well, what are we having? Oh, I don't know. Ask Miss Camelbrain here. What are you going to cook for us? <laughs> well, I'm not cooking anything. I'm going home with Bruno. Why? We're married. Besides, she's got to come home. But why? The electric blanket's broken. That'll be right. <laughs> you randy little wog. No wonder there are thousands of Catholics all over the world. <laughs> well, no, don't go. Stay. Dad, you said you wanted to be by yourself. Yes, I do. I love being by myself. It's just that I like somebody to be there while I'm doing it. Oh. <laughs> God, you're useless. Mrs. B has hardly landed in... Where'd she go to first? Bangkok. She's hardly landed in Bangkok and already you're bitchy. How are you going to survive the next six months? Don't worry about me, mate. I'll be all right. Bangkok, she couldn't be there already. Yes, yeah, she could. Well, but we've only just got home. Dad, you seem to forget it took the ambulance bloke a couple of hours to get you back on your feet. <laughs> I was in shock. So was he by the time he'd finished. And then we spent five hours at the police station describing the car. Well, they didn't believe it. I've seen it, and I still don't believe it. Oh, wait, let's go. Oh, that'd be right, yeah. Leave your poor old only surviving father all by himself in the middle of the night so you can go home to bed. Typical. Yeah, yeah, sure, Ted. Look, I I I'll make some mile out. No. Well, well, I'll put two sugars in it. <laughs> and I won't charge you for it. Free <laughs> Milo, think about it. I have. Good night. Good night, Dad. Someone should blow daughters up. <laughs> it's the last time I'll change her nappy. <laughs> I'll drink all the Milo by myself, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll show up. I'll drink so much Milo, I'll make myself sick. And they won't. And won't they be jealous? <laughs> Struth! She's taken the Milo with her! Stupid woman! Where did she put it? Hang on, hang on. Think like Phil, Ted. What would she do in this situation? I know. <laughs> oh, you're a genius, Ted. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah. Who needs women? <laughs> quite right, mate. We can get along quite well without them. <laughs> Better without them. <laughs> Ooh, things were going well till they got the vote. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, good day. Uh, Bangkok Hilton? Uh, Mrs. Thelma Opal Bullpit, please. <laughs> She's a white woman with a koala. <laughs> oh, Thelma, it's me. Where's the bloody Milo? <laughs>
I just about dozed off when you're doing the kitchen floor. Beats me what your mother's always bitching about. Yeah, yeah, sure, Dad. How about some dinner? Dinner? Pickle me, Grandmother, I almost forgot. It's five o'clock. What time is it? Oh, jeez. My meal will be rolling down the road any minute. No, Dad, you can't eat the paper, boy. No, 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 no. It's a proper meal with spuds and gravy and everything. Where from? Well, from the boot of a tirana. What do you mean? <laughs> meals on wheels! <laughs> Dad, meals on wheels are for old people and incapacitated people. Now, how'd you get on their list? I I'm not, but they've been feeding me all last week. How come? Well, you see, when they come to deliver to the old chook across the road, you know, the one with the moustache and the, and the tea cosy on the top of the head. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. What's-her-name? No, no, not her, no, her sister-in-law, you know, the one that looks like Gus Bacchirio's nose. Oh, <laughs> Mrs. Uh, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you yeah, don't steal on meals, do you? No, 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 but when they come to deliver to her, they leave the boot of the car open and I just whip down and grab one. Of course, I've got to be quick to beat that mad actor bloke down the road. That mad actor's pretty quick when it comes to food. Dad, you can't go thieving from meals on wheels. Oh, no, I give them a fair exchange. I mean, I leave them something in return. What? A dirty plate. <laughs> what about money? Well, I gave them a donation. I gave them an anonymous cheque. What do you mean? Well, I didn't sign it. <laughs> there they are! There they are! No. <laughs> Let me go! No, Dad, you can't go around pinching pensioners, Tucker. Let me go! I've got to eat! I've got to eat! No, Dad, stop it! Oh, well, stop! Oh, there you go! He got there first! Swine! Bloody <laughs> actor! I don't blame him because his show was axed last week. No, well, I'm going. And don't you follow that car. That's pensioners' food. You've got plenty in the cupboards and the freezer, all right? Yeah, yeah, all right. All right. You stay here and you cook your own, all right? Yeah, all right. OK, I'll see you. Bloody kids. Man's got to eat. Stay here, you cook your own. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, I'll see you. Yeah. Bloody university kids, get them to clean up your house, they think they own the world. <laughs> now, what's for dinner? Ha <laughs> ha! Saturday 27th, chops. How does Thelma cook chops now? Where is she? Oh, no, I can't ring her. <laughs> no, Germany. <laughs> Cost me 48 bucks to find out where the sugar was yesterday. <laughs> Holy holy, everybody, here comes the party. Struth, it's Bob. Everybody hide. Shut up, Bob. Triple Struth, it's Merle. <laughs> Hello, world. Yes, it's me, Bobby Bullpit. Don't swoon, I'm human. If you're human, why are you frightened of more teen? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Merle. Go put the cases in the bedroom. The big bedroom. Ted doesn't need a double bed for months. Do you, Teddy boy? Or is there something you're not telling us? <laughs> what do you want about, you horrible little Datsun dealer? Teddy boy, trust me. Oh, that's going to cost me. Bobby, come and help me with the cases. I did. I opened the door and you brought them in. <laughs> not the suitcases, mayonnaise brain. The cases of vodka in the car. Bring them in yourself. They're your hobby. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, Teddy. Now, how have you been? We've come to keep you company. Stop smiling at me, Merle. You know it makes me edgy. <laughs> what do you really want? What are you going to do in my bed? Oh, nothing with you, Ted. Oh, thank God for that. It had me really worried. <laughs> I'm not sharing a bed with Bob. Teddy boy, you don't have to. You can have your own bed. Oh, thanks, Bob. Ha. Hang on, what am I saying? This is my bed, my house, my everything. What's going on? Teddy, what are families for if we can't all get together and be nice to each other? Call her off, Bob. Merle, heel! <laughs> Watch it, Bobby. Well, Ted's not used to a woman like you. Come to think of it, he's not used to a horse like you. That's it, Bobby. I'm going to flatten you. Yeah, yeah, any time, Mool, any time. Go on, thumper, Bob. What's that, Ted? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, the man's a cretin. What's going on? Teddy boy, it's just that we can't bear to think of you for six long months all alone when we could be here and renting out our house. Well, but what do you mean? We're moving in. Pickle me, grandmother. <laughs>
Morning, Merle. Uh... <laughs> Merle, I can't tell you how thrilled I am that you and Bobby have moved in and taken over my bed. <laughs> I'll have two chops, two snags, two bacon, two eggs, chutney underneath as well as on top, and two pickle onions. Get it yourself. <laughs> but it's breakfast. Breakfast? Oh. <laughs> Are you mad? A woman in my condition can't even look at breakfast. But what about me? I can't look at you either. <laughs> in fact, Ted, to be brutally honest, I can't even look at myself until I get my face on. Is it on yet? <laughs> of course it's not on. You don't think I want to be seen in public like this, do you? Yeah, you're quite right, Merle. To be an offence under the Dog Act. <laughs> Nothing, nothing, Merle, but you just said that you would look after me. I lied. But why? Because I don't like you, Ted. <laughs> but, but Bobby says... Bobby says a lot of things, but you should never believe him. Why? He's a car dealer. Anyone who buys Brute by the drum has got to be suspect. <laughs> Brute, eh? I wonder how many miles to the gallon he gets with that stuff. Morning, world. Yep. Every day and every way, I'm getting more and more fabulous. How do you like the new aftershave, huh? Smells like second-hand sheep dip. Close. It's called Shearer's Musk. The natural essence of real men. How long have they been dead? <laughs> yeah, very funny, Mill. Have you fed Ted yet? No, she hasn't bloody well fed me. A man can starve to death here and nobody cares. Oh, fair. Go, Mill. You, you got to feed him. I mean, you don't have to stay and watch. Just push the plate in front of him. After all, he is giving us his house for nothing. Am I? Of course you are. You wouldn't charge us rent, would you? We're family. Well, Merle's not. That's it. I told you this crazy deal wouldn't work. Come on, we're moving back home. But we can't, Merle. The film blokes haven't finished shooting. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, haven't finished their breakfast. Uh, the tenants that are there that aren't in the movie business, but uh, something uh, legit. Bobby. Uh, now, Merle. Bobby. Do I start to realise you've rented our house so that someone can make a film in there? Oh, yeah, well, it's, it's not, not a big film. I mean, there are no stars that you'd recognise in what it. What sort of a film? Is it in colour? Uh, yeah. Blue? <laughs> yeah, I mean... You animal! What will I tell the girls from the Tupperware party? They are the girls from the Tupperware party. <laughs> Can I have a look? Well, that's it. How dare they? In my bedroom! But, Merle, Merle, we're going to make a fortune! How could you? Dad, good news! Oh, pickle me. Grandmother's like bloody Central Station here. Yeah? Uh, what's the good news? Don't tell me you're in Bob's movie. What movie? Well, uh, uh, none of your business. It's got girls in it. It's all men's stuff. Yeah, yeah sure, Dad. We've solved your problem. Which one? Someone to look after you. We've found just the person. She's a great cook. She'll look after you perfectly, and she'd love to do it because her husband died. What of? She's perfect for you. Well, who is it? Bruno's mum. Pickle me, grandmother. <laughs> yes, Thelma, I've got it all written down. Now, don't you worry. I'll come every morning and evening, clean up and cook dinner. You just enjoy yourself and give my regards to Roma. What do you mean, Roma who? <laughs> Roma, Italy. No, she doesn't live anywhere, Thelma. <laughs> Whatever you say. She's a gypsy. Okay, bye-bye, Phil. Now, number one, Ted Stangert. Ah. <laughs> and number two, hello, Ted, how was your day? <laughs> hello, Ted, how was your day? Yeah, I'm home. Hello, Ted. How was your day? Bloody shambles, of course. Someone should blow car thieves up. Oh, dear. What has happened now? Well, there I am, Phil, standing there, minding me. Brother? Own... Oh, I'll pick up it. <laughs> oh, give a man a heart attack. Who are you? Rosa, but the lunch, you remember? The wog's mother. Oh. <laughs> Of course, Rosa. Mmm, something smells grouse. No, not grouse. It's bellissimo. Bellissimo. I haven't had that for years. <laughs> Are you hungry, Ted? Oh, I can eat a horse, Rosa. How about a chook, big enough for a jockey? I didn't know you Italians raised chooks. Oh, yes, and sometimes, Ted, I even beat them. 
Well, you don't look as though you'd be too quick off your feet, Rosa. Oh, no offence. <laughs> it was a joke. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, you help me here, please, Ted. Uh, well, what? Well, Thelma, she tell me everything I am to say and do when you come home from work. Yeah. Now, I've yeah. got big ticks against, hello, Ted, how was your day? Tick. Yeah. And, oh, dear, what has happened now? Tick. Yeah. But I don't understand, why do I say in the lounge room? Don't ask me, I haven't got a clue. Ignore it, it's still. She's mad, you know. Oh. Now, where's my paper? In the lounge room. <laughs> Well, Ted, oh. how do you like my special chicken? It's terrific. <laughs> the last time I cooked that was the night my husband died. <laughs> how long after you'd given it to him did he, I mean, did poor Alenzo kick the, uh, uh, did he die? I mean, uh... About 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Struth! I've only got three minutes left. What are the symptoms? Well, none. He was hit by a bus. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in Don't worry, Ted. Mm, I'll get it. Hello? Yes? 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 Yes. Thank you. Who was it? It was the police. They found your car. They want you to pick it up. Oh, where is it? In Perth. <laughs> <laughs> 